Hello to all you Fire Alarm and Siren fans on YouTube. This is FS Thunderbolt Fan 1000 here with another Siren video. Today we have in front of us is one electronic Siren board and a second electronic Siren board. Neither of these are mine. They will be leaving my possession soon, so I am just making a video on them quick. So this is a AC electronic board reversion revision two. Made the revision was made in 1988, but this siren was from 1992. So one of the last years ACA was around. This is off an ACA electronic AL6000 four throat siren, or it might be an ACA electronic AL6000. I don't know. I'd have to look at the ID badge, but uh, this one this is off of a 19. Early 80s, not too early though, but late 80s. Well, not super late, but it's uh, in between. It's off of an ACA Electronic AL6000, the eight throat siren with two drivers per horn, and uh, yeah, and no chain drive, so it's a little later, but uh, yeah, here she is because I think it said on here. Whatever. But uh, here's a fun fact. So these boards, the terminals aren't the terminal strips are not the same. There's no terminal strips actually. It's all quick connects like this. All pins and everything, so I kinda got her haphazardly wired up there to get this little demo for you. First things first, this siren is insanely loud. For just the control board, she puts out a lot of sound. I don't know why. But there's a lot of corks I'm learning about it and I'm hoping to share with the siren community here. So starting off, so the AC electronic, I know Christian made a good post on the wiki and everything, but no one really knows much about the boards because no one's ever really seen the insides of a board till now. This is probably the first video you're seeing of it. So this is what I can show you off, judging by what I've seen. So when I first applied power, like you can hear when you press a button, sound coming off the unit. So it's my understanding that either two of these or all four of these are transformers that amplify the sound. These are like internal amplifiers. Uh, this relay is for the amplifiers to engage. This relay is for the rotators, rotator to engage. Now the serotone does not have any relays on it at all. Here's a serotone control board and there's no relays. It's just done through uh, a transistor or something I think. But uh, what's nice about the serotone is it's got those terminal blocks on either side, so that way you can connect real easy. Unfortunately, the electronic does not have that. And for a matter of fact, everything's very poorly labeled. If I didn't have this board, I'd have no clue what everything was. So starting off, we'll go off with the vintage electronic board. But uh, actually, one more thing on the history, too. As I go on, I find out more and more that ACA did not really make a lot of their products. Basically ACA was a fiberglass casting place and yeah like I'm not saying it's bad that they didn't make their own motors like I know no siren place does but they had this outsourced I don't even think ACA designed this board this board is actually made by Carson Manufacturing Company 1985 this board was copyrighted so this is the style one so electronic 5000 every electronic up until the point of this board would have this board this is the only electronic board another interesting fact is the electronic is not digital it is analog this is an analog siren and a funny thing too is that Carson siren or Carson Manufacturing is a manufacturer of vehicle sirens. So this is basically a glorified vehicle siren is what I'm getting off of it. So yeah. Another th thing is like I said the amplifiers are engaged by this relay here. And the, stop, the soft start is not from the amplifiers warming up like we thought. It is literally programmed in the board as you'll see in a second here. Now like the Syrotone, like I was able to record that one for my like high definition audio and everything. 
That is not going to be possible with this board. This board is pushing out close to 60 watts of sound. I think that would fry my computer's uh, microphone input. Another interesting fact is a sir the Cyrotone board outputs in stereo. You'll have your stereo, you'll have your left signal, and you'll have your right signal. But in the common, the electronic is dual mon mono, as I call it. There's there's two commons and two signal hots. So there's signal A, and then signal B, and then there's signal A hot common and signal B common, which I think is a little uh, funky. But I guess that's just the way they want to do it. I'm not going to judge them for it. Both these boards are dual tone, what I found out. This board right now is it's going to re be repaired and put back into service. has a broken resistor. It's fried. I'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to see it in this light. The charring a little bit right there on the board. But it's under this heat sink plate here for uh, some sort of diode. And I'm going to have to cut some of those heat sink pieces off so I can get to the resistor and desolder it. But uh yeah, that is pretty much it with that both these boards. So yeah, like I said this one is 1985 and then this one is after 19 uh nah, what you call it? 1988. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh this one has two fuses. So, you have your uh, smaller fuse, it's not as many amps, this is a higher amperage fuse. What's cool about these boards is it's kind of two controllers into, made into one. So for your signaling side, the sound that generates the tones and runs the actual board, it is 24 volts DC into these two pins here. Now on this board, now up here if you go to the rotation and amplifier circuit, you need to apply another additional 24 volts to these two pins and then those are your outputs there which I think is funky compared to the serotonin where you just put your 24 volts into these two terminals and then it puts out everything you don't need to add 24 volts in other places another funky thing is these boards do not time themselves there's no internal clock there's no decade counter there's no 555 chip inside this board at all in any of these two boards all right i take that back there might be one five 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 actually no that's not a five 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 chip but uh there's no decade counter or anything so the way these boards work is as long as the contact is closed or it's reading like the buttons being pushed or the radio is being activated these boards will sound for that period but once that contact is open it will shut down the board so you'll see here in a minute it only goes as long as I hold down the button then it starts to wind down so like I said these this board is extremely loud so that's why I just shove a blanket inside that power horn and then oddly enough there's the mini electronic which is kinda funny so here we go I'm gonna give you a little taste of each signal here here is alert That was alert. And you'll what something else is that's funny that I notice about these boards is alert and fire signal are the only two the only two uh whatchamacallits, the only two signals that feature a wind down. Attack, high, low, and horn do not have a wind down. So here we go. I'll show you attack here. It seems like it's a fa more of a fast whale than it is attack. As soon as I let go, it stops. 
All right, here's high low. And as soon as you let go, it stops again. Here is horn. Alright, that was horn, and here's fire. Fire is more closely related to attack than it is any fire signal. So that is pretty much it for these two boards. This is the radio terminal block. That's where you connect into the radio, and like I said, that's the amplifier outputs over there. So yeah, I'll post better pictures of these. Sorry if this video is a little short. If you guys have any questions about it, comment now. I'll have these boards till probably about next Thursday, by the way it's looking. But that's when that new resistor is supposedly supposed to come in according to Amazon. So yeah, if you guys have any further questions on how these boards work, or want any more in-depth about anything on these boards. What I think is funny is how they have a rotate button. You can trigger the rotator through there, through the front, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that is pretty much it for these two beasts of an electronic board. Serotone is a little jealous, not really, but because I think the Serotone is a better siren than the electronic. And I think that the siren board is a lot easier to hook up compared to an electronic. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay, stay safe, you guys.